and welcome back to my channel. Today I have my January stitch fix. This just came and it actually arrived on a Sunday and it was early. I had put in for, I believe it was January 14th. So it came a couple of days early, but I have it. I just opened the tab. I didn't take anything out um, to make it easier to get this open for us. Um, I want to show you what it looks like inside if you're not familiar with Stitch Fix. Stitch Fix is a subscription styling service and you can um, get this on demand. You can do a schedule. I usually do like every two to three weeks. And with Stitch Fix, um, you pay a $20 styling fee. I don't pay that styling fee because I've had it waived. I took the style pass, the $49 style pass that was offered to me last year. But if you don't have the style pass, it's $20. However, if you use my link in the comments, you get that styling fee waived for your first fix. And I believe they're still offering $50 um, towards your first fix. So anything that you buy out of your first fix um, would give you $50 towards that. So it would be minus that $50. Um, so that's a pretty good deal. Um, you could probably get at least one item very often out of Stitch Fix and pay practically nothing. That said, let's take a look. So I think I have two bundles. So the top bundle is right here, but I'd like to show you first. This actually was delivered, I believe, by the post office yesterday, which is kind of weird. Actually, I'm lying. It came FedEx, but it goes back to the post office. So anything you don't um, take, you get this prepaid mailer. Um, and you just put it in this envelope and you send it back. You can either leave it out for your postman or you can just drop it off at the post office. It's a pretty good deal. So they give you the envelope. Um, they also give you the paperwork. So here's the um, style note and the receipt and everything else that's in your box. I'm going to put that to the side right now. I'm not going to read my stylist note yet. So in this box, I'm going to put it next to me and I'm going to take my bundles out. Like I said, I think there's two. So here is the first bundle. And I don't know if you can see, it looks like some, like, dark, not quite brown, but it's like a dark beige, black, and some red. And then there is another bundle in here. I had requested to possibly get a um, faux fur vest. So I'm not sure, but it looks like, like some fuzzy, like gray and almost black tone, as well as, I think this might be a scarf. So that's there, it's all fuzzy. Um, let's take a look at Let's do bundle one first. And I'm gonna try to do this quick so I can get to the try on for you. Cause I know that's what everybody wants to see, the actual clothes on. And I'm sitting in my kitchen, well actually my dining room, my dining room table because we're having another rainy day so I'm trying to use the best light that I have. I was easy light. Um, attached to my Canon camera. But let's take a look. So here's that bundle again. This looks like a very pretty sweater. So this looks like it's by Fate. It's in a size small. It's the Clarina Textured Pullover in Taupe. So you can see it's very pretty colors. Um, the top it's almost color block. I'm wearing a color block sweater today. I don't know if you can see it back up, but the bottom has that trim. So it's like different colors. I wouldn't want to say it's a traditional color block, but it's different colors. Um, same thing with the sleeve. The sleeve is that taupey color and then that different color effect down at the bottom. It's very pretty. And it feels very soft, so I'm excited to try that on. I could use, still cold here. Actually, yesterday, though, it was really warm. I'm in New York. And on the weekend, we actually hit 70 degrees, which is unheard of. 
but it did go back down today. It's about 50 today, which is still warm, but it's it's damp and it's overcast, so it feels chillier today. Um, and I'm one for sweaters. I do like sweaters. Um, that said, let's see what else is in here. This looks like it is Magnolia Grace, and this is the Waldo Gromit Detail Pullover in black, size small. So, oh, that's the front. Which right away I'm seeing, it looks like it's, from being in the box, has some lint on it, which is not good, because I have, as you know from BarkBox, I have a golden retriever that sheds. So I'll have to keep an eye on that, but this, it's a lightweight, I thought it was more of a sweatery material when I first looked at it, but I think it's more of a lightweight um, top. I don't know how to describe that, but it's it's softer and it's lighter weight than the sweater that I just pulled out. The other noticeable detail is it has like these grommets on the sleeve, like this grommet detail on the sleeve. Otherwise, it's just like a plain pullover black top but that neat detail on the sleeve sets it apart. Um, and also in this fix, usually you get five pieces. So I'm on the third. And like I said, I'm in bundle one still. These are by Katie Storino. And I think it's exclusive to Stitch Fix, but I believe she works with Stitch Fix. I heard about her. Um, she's a designer for Stitch Fix. Katie Storino, the Pippa Stretch Riding Pant in red, size small. Very, very interesting. And in they're red colored pant, like a denim -y. They're pretty bright. I know the camera is showing, it looks even brighter on the camera. But the detail is like those riding pants. So like in the leg area, they have like a patch, I don't know if you can see it. It's like this patch detail running between both legs. So that's different. Um, and I'd be interested to see how the style card um, styles these and what it pairs them with, but that's a different look. And they are in a size small, so we shall see. I actually, have lost some weight as you know and I've kept it off through the holiday season so I don't know I'm usually um, either a zero or two now in jeans so I'm not so sure or small what that equates to but we'll see um, and then here is the second bundle let's open this up and see what we got going like I said I asked for a over can't even speak today a f um, fake fur vest. So I'm curious to see what was sent to me, if they had anything. Um, let me get everything out of here first, actually. And then, oh, it looks like a hat. Put that to the side. Okay, let's take a look at the vest first. So this looks very furry. Actually, I want to say more fuzzy, not furry, but still cute. Um, it has zippers, it looks like, for the pockets on both sides. Also has zipper closure here. Let's see. And the inside is just like a black lining. Let's see if I can get that. Cute. Um, this, I didn't even tell you who the, oh, okay. This is by Lemon Tart. This is the Skyros Textured Fleece Vest, dark gray and a size small. And my recent jacket was Lemon Tart. The, I'll link it above if you missed it. My second fix from December, the fake fur jacket, that was Lemon Tart and I, I ended up keeping it. I had to exchange it because it was, um, the original one I got was leaving fur all over. I wore it with like my, um, red, those wine colored pants that I got from another Stitch Fix. Um, and it was leaving fur 
a trail of fur on my pants. So Stitch Fix graciously exchanged it to see if that would alleviate the problem if it was just a defect. But um, again, this is by the same company, um, Lemon Tart. So very pretty. So that's the vest. Let's put that over there for a sec. And now what's left looks like it's a hat and scarf set. And this is, I don't know if I'm going to say this right. I hope I'm not butchering this. This is Sharia Lee, the Ornida Beanie and Oblong Scarf Set in blush. So I guess like a pinkish, looks like the scarf looks like it's got different colors. I don't know if I can, I don't know if I want to separate this because I don't know if I actually need this or not. Um, but it's like two-toned. And then it comes with, you can see it, it's all kind of, oh, wasn't attached. I thought it was attached. Sorry about that. But this is the hat. Let's see. Okay, there we are in focus. It's the little, like, it's like a beanie hat and it has the fur. I do have, I have one from um, Trunk Club last year and I have another one from Hollister as well. I have two with this, like, fake fur on top. So I don't know if I need this to be honest. Um, but it is really cute. Um, but it is a set, the scarf and the hat. So being that it's not attached, maybe I can open it a little bit. It's pretty long though. I'll try it on. I'll try it on being that it's not attached. I thought it was all attached, but that's the scarf and the hat set. So that's it. That's the five items that were in my fix for January. Um, I will be back with the try on shortly, so hang on for that. Okay, I'm back, and I have two of the items from this fix on. So the first is the sweater, and this is the Fate Clarina textured pullover, and you will see all the prices going across for you. But again, this has that detail where up here, it's got the different color, so it's like a lighter color, and it's like a chunky knit. I really like this. Um, I like the feel of it, I like the look, and then it has like that deeper um, beige, brownish color, and it does the same effect on the arms. So light, darker, and then light again, how I showed you on the wrist. And if I pull away, you can see just how long this sweater is. It covers the um, tush area pretty nicely. I guess you could probably even front tuck. I am wearing it with the red um, riding pants. So let's do a front tuck and just see. Um, these are very high waisted, these pants. Let's see how that looks. It just gets rid of the bottom effect though. So I'm not sure I love the front tuck on this. It's cute. I mean, it does give it a little bit more shape and dimension, but I do like it out as well. I think it's cute either way. Now on the bottom, these are by Katie Storino, and she is a designer, so I am as, I'm pretty far away. You can see the color of these pants. They're the Pippa Stretch Riding Pant, and they're in that red color. Um, you, I showed you close up, but you have in this leg area that um, it's like a patch. It's almost a feels like a suede type material. And I actually cuffed the pant. Just, it wasn't too long, but with the booty, it looked better cuffed. So I have brown booties on, because I think the brown in the pant and the brown booty went very nicely. Um, they're actually not a bad fit. I just, I'm not sure, because they're high-waisted. And I'm not sure about the color. I'm, um, let me know what you think. You're seeing them on me. Are they too bright? Like, are, are they something you would wear? I'm just not 100% sold on these. But I also want to take a look and add the vest over this. So if you just give me a second, I have the vest over here. I'm going to try to put the vest on over what I'm wearing. And this is the lemon tart vest. This is the Skyros textured fleece vest. It's very pretty and it's very soft. I'll come closer so you can see. It's kind of um, like fuzzy like I showed you when I pulled it out of the box. It's it's nice. Don't get me
me wrong, but I really wanted something more furry. And I do have a gray and black. It's not as soft as this, but I do have a vest similar in color. So I'm not sure I need this vest, to be honest. But again, it's a nice option. It's very comfortable. Um, let me zip it. I don't know if I'd wear it zipped with the sweater, but this is what it would look like if you zipped it. And it can be zipped all the way. Show you, I'll come closer. It can be zipped all the way up. I don't think I'd wear it that high. Um, but it does have that zipper closure and it has two pockets here with zippers. Um, it's nice. Again, I just not, 100% sold that I need this yet. Um, like I said, I do have something similar. That being said, I think my stylist has my um, taste and preferences down. But again, I own a little bit similar vest. Let's also add in, here is the scarf. Um, let's see if I can take a look at this. Pretty long. Um, I know there is a way, like you could wear it this way. Um, I know there's a way. Let me see if I can do it. I've done it before in the past. Um, let me think about this a sec. I know there's a way to make an infinity scarf if you loop it. I've got to try to remember that, how I did, how I do that. Um, oh, I know how to do it. Hang on. Take it, and when you're wearing it, I just think it would be too puffy. But you can to make it an infinity. You would kind of loop it through. But look at how it's kind of like choking me. I don't think this is not you. That's how you would make an infinity, but with like a lighter material scarf. Um, that said. I'm just not sold that I need this. It's so pretty. If you can see the colors again, like pink, browns, creams, very, very pretty. I don't want to put the hat on because like I said, I own two hats just like this. And not that I have, my hair is clean, but I still don't feel right putting it on, wearing it, and if I'm gonna send it back. I'm leaning more towards sending this back, but if you need a good hat, this really is a very pretty um, hat, and I love, I'm a big fan of that fur. Like I said, I have two of them already, so, but I don't think I need this, because I do have similar. But that's four of the five items. I'm gonna be right back, and I'm just gonna switch the sweater for you so you can see the um, grommet detail sweater. So hang on and I'll be right back with that. Okay, I am back and as I said, I've switched into the grommet sweater. I read my stylist note, um, on, a, on a side note I should say, and she had said to pair this with the vest. So I put the vest back on just so you could see it together. So I'm gonna back up and you can see the effect. She also said to wear the um, the wine colored jeans that I got from Sam Edelman from two fixes ago, which I will leave a card above if you want to see more from that fix. But I put it together the way she had envisioned the outfit. So here is the outfit. So now let me come back um, to you that you've seen together. So the sweater, I'm going to take the vest off so you can actually see the, I don't want to say it's a sweater, but it's a pullover. Um, this is the Waldo, and this is by, it looks like Magnolia Grace, the Waldo Grommet Detail Pullover. And this has all that grommeting detail on the sleeve. Otherwise, it just has a um, rounded neckline. It's, um, when I pull back, it comes down out here. I would assume maybe you could do, I'm going to try a front tuck real quick because we all love the front tuck. So here it is with a front tuck. I don't know if I love that either, but it's it's not a bad option. And covers the bottom area. Um, but again, the big draw on this, if I come closer so you can see it, 
are those grommets. That's the big draw on this pullover. That's the detail. Goes all the way up to almost the shoulder. Um, it fits pretty nice. I mean, it's just a plain black pullover otherwise, but that detail makes it, I guess, a little bit more special. That said, now you've seen everything in this fix, I will be back uh, momentarily to do a quick wrap up. So hang on for that. Okay, welcome back. That was a real fun try on. I'm gonna read to you my stylist's note first. Um, and I still have Emma, which I am so thankful for because as you can tell, she does have my style pretty much down. Um, she tends to look at my Pinterest board, which is a great thing, and works with what I already got from her and tries to play on all those things. So let's read this note. It says, happy 2020, Janine. I'm sending you my very best vibes for a fresh, fun, and fashionable start to this new year and this new decade. As always, I love checking out your inspiration board and Pinterest. I can see you're getting into some edgy mixes of texture and print, and I'm here for it. Very sadly, I don't have an animal print to send. Rest assured, I'll keep my eyes out for you. I went from metal details, fuzzy fabrics, and stitched pants to add more fierce, textured twist to your wardrobe. Pair the soft the so soft Clarina pullover with the Pippa pants, a stitch fix exclusive from designer Katie Storino for a sharp style. You can also layer the vest over the Waldo pullover and add your burgundy jeans for another chic style. Keep extra cute and cozy by adding the or or I can't say this word, the Orandina, I think, scarf and hat when you head out. Let me know what you think, XO Emma. Okay, so again, she really is doing a great job in trying, and I thank you so much, Emma, because this was a fun try on. Now let's take a look. I don't have any credits this time out. I just wanted to lay that out for you. Um, so if I were to keep everything, and again, you saw all those prices for each item, but if I were to keep everything, the stylist's pick subtotal is $362, and the buy all discount of 25% off is $90.50. So the order subtotal is $271.50. There is free shipping, so without the tax, at this point, it's $271.50, which I guess is not a totally bad price. There's a vest in here, there are pants, um, and there are some um, sweaters and everything. But let's go through each piece as I got it. Um, the first one that I have on top, and it's weird because on my, um, I did notice this afterwards, on my, I guess it's my price sheet. I'm curious to see if it says the right, it says the right thing on the style card, but on the price sheet, it's telling me it's Market and Spruce, but this clearly is Magnolia Grease. All of the labels say so, and I just want you to see in case. This was the grommet sweater, but this is by Magnolia Grease, so. It's hard to see because it's turned up. There we go. Sorry about that, but it's Magnolia Grease. Um, I really like this. It's very pretty. I do have some black, um, probably heavier sweaters. So I don't know. I have to think about this. Um, you saw it on me. What did you think? The, the real detail of this are those grommets. So I'm not 100% sold, but I do like it. And it's a nice basic, but with like just that little pop of something special with the grommet detail. So this is a maybe. Next up were, and she said it, I didn't see any tag. Usually when it's an exclusive, there is an exclusive tag. I didn't see, um, although maybe this means it's exclusive. This was the pants. Katie Storino. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. And it says X Stitch Fix. So I think from what my stylist said, these are exclusive to Stitch Fix. And these pants were the Pippa Stretch Riding Pant. And by the way, you did see the price, but I will tell you that the um, Magnolia Grace top is 68. So on its own, that's kind of steep, I think. 
again, if you're buying everything and you're getting that discount, then I think it is a better price. These pants um, are $88, but I get it. They're exclusive. Um, I do like them. I'm just not 100% sold again. I, let me know what you think of this color. Is this edgy? Is it in? Is it too bright? Um, also the um, riding detail. It is cute. I'm just trying to think where I'd wear it. How much use I'd get for, like I said, $88. That is a little steep. Um, especially after Christmas and the holidays. But it's cute. The other thing that I wasn't loving totally was that it was high waist but it did keep everything in nice um so i don't know i'm gonna put it to the side it is cute it's different um the next item is by fate and this was the clarina textured pullover and this was in top size small and this was also 68 dollars. so the two tops this was the fuzzy one and that like different pattern and color um this one I really liked I have to think about it again price wise but I did really like this this might have been my favorite just the feel of it and everything in this fix um so again I'm going to put it to the side I'm going to do a little math think about it that said the vest is up next and this was by lemon tart and this was the sky roast textured fleece vest dark gray small and this was $84 like I said I have something similar and I actually pulled my similar vest I just want to show you if you can tell this is the lemon tart vest and this is my vest and this actually was from stitch fix this is by skies are blue and I got this a while back from them maybe about I want to say at least a year maybe almost two years ago but I want to put them side by side just for the color very similar color this is just fuzzier but to be honest they're just so similar in um, style and color just a little fuzzier like I said for this vest so I'm not thinking I need it and that $84 price is leading me to believe I want to wait for a vest like I said on my pin board I had a different style um, it was more I believe it was more um, furry and fuzzy and uh, so I'm not thinking that's exactly it she did a good job like I said for what they had I just don't think I need it being that I do have something slightly similar let me put my vest to the side the last but not least is the um, beanie and the scarf so this is the sharia sh sharia or oh, i can't i really can't pronounce this there are or da beanie and oblong scarf set and this was the cheapest in there 54 dollars. but again i don't think i need because i have a hat similar to this and this scarf is just a little too much for me a little too heavy i like when i if i do wear a scarf i like something that is not so bulky that I can, like I said, do the infinity with, and I was having trouble doing that with this scarf. So I'm leaning towards a no for the hat and the scarf set. That said, you have again seen everything in this fix. I would love to know your thoughts and your take on this fix. So please leave me those comments. Um, I don't know if I'll do a poll for this. Maybe I'll just do a poll with your favorite item above so you can vote above if you want. Um, and that said, for those who are subscribers, thank you for spending some time with me today and checking out my latest Stitch Fix for January um, 2020. Um, if you are not a subscriber, please feel free to subscribe below. If you don't have um, a Stitch Fix account yet and you would like to give Stitch Fix a try, please feel free to use my link in the comments. Like I said earlier, um, you get the styling fee wave for your first fix. And you also get, from my special code, you get $50 to shop your first fix. Um, and I think that is it. If you um, like this video, please give me a thumbs up. That helps me bring you more fixes and more content similar to this on my channel 
Um, that said, I just want to say thank you again for spending some time with me. And now I want to wish you a magical day and bye for now.